Hey guys, Canva released a bunch of generative AI features very recently and I'm going to try these out. In order to access features, all you need to do is scroll a bit and you'll be able to find all of them here. You can obviously find it inside the editor, but to show you uh, the features, I'm going to quickly open these items here. So first is magic right everywhere, play with draw. Not all of these are generative AI features. There is try out ma magic design, try out magic edit and eraser, try out magic presentation, edit with beats. So there's animation, brand hub, translate and finally tech. Let's quickly try each one of them and see what they do. Now the, the first one is magic write. It's an AI about writing as a start your brainstorm idea. Quickly generate writing. Is this like a notion AI? Um, let's just write. So I'm opening this in a new tab here and best to start five topics on basics of generative so in order to try it out, you get 25 magic rights, especially when it comes to magic rights. I'm not sure about the other ones yet. But let's start something, five topics on basics of generative. So it went ahead and it kind of added AI generated text. You see what this can do for your presentation, right? So assume that you're making presentations on uh, Canva. You can use this feature in order to generate AI powered text for you while you're building the presentation. Now, I don't know if there is a, is there a way to magic, right? So all you need to do is put hash and then start at 500 character basics of generative so 500 character basics of generative AI. now these are more appropriate especially when you want to make your presentation imagine how quickly you can make presentations now using let's quickly try the new one draw i'm not sure if this is an ai or hand drawn it looks like this is basic paintbrush where you can drag and draw new ideas so i'm not going to explore this one it's just magic design put your media there and it builds a bunch of designs so let's try it i'm gonna upload my own image and see what can be done on this so I've uploaded my image. Basically what the feature would do is it would create variations and you will see what I mean here, right? So it kind of, this is like a testimonial. This is like a gaming um, card or something, like an Instagram page. You can obviously customize this template further. Seems more like a, a banner, a photo. Oh, no, this is a good feature. Like I think you can re use these real time. Uh, but again, this is new and improving. So certain uh, alignment or thing uh, things that have aligned here may not be perfect. Basically all it's doing is kind of of, uh, identifying what the character is and then putting them in the appropriate situation. Let's quickly try this one. We tried the magic design. So it designs the photo, right? Now this is the magic edit and erase these objects from your photos. Okay, how do I use it? It's like this is also something that's new. I don't really know how to use the magic eraser. It will not use edit photo and then magic edit. Yeah, it requires a premium version. Yeah, very uh, terrible in that sense. Like I can't even figure out how to use it. Let's try magic presentation. So this is one of the features that I really like where you can uh, request Canva to build a presentation for you merely based on text and it generates like a template that you can use. Maybe it's using generative AI, right? So let's say basics of generative AI. So it takes a few seconds to create the presentation, but then once it's done, it kind of uh, builds a bunch of samples and each of these samples will subsequently have slide, right? So, and the best part is that these are generated by AI, the text itself is generated by AI. And so these are all things that are relevant uh, to the presentation. So these, this is not dummy data, this is real data that you can use after doing some basic edits on the, at this point, some of these are not good looking, but I think it's a great direction to move. Uh, because there are not a lot of tools that currently build present. I think this is one of the good features that Canva has because I may be able to use it. Then there is Beat Sync. What this basically does is it kind of understands the beat points of the video and then aligns the video accordingly. So let's check. So you can see these are beat points. When it knows that this is a beat point, so it will skip to the most relevant video frame. Yeah, so I don't make a lot of videos on Canva or edit a lot of videos on Canva. If you're one of those people who do that, I think this may be the thing you may be looking for. Then there is animation. So fly the bee from flower to control the speed of your animation by moving it. I intentionally did that. But you can see it's kind of recording the action of the mouse and kind of creating like a flow for me. Going to the next, uh, kick the ball into the goal. Maybe I have to add an animation. Yeah. So in order to do it, you just have to click on animation. See, there's a animate option here. Now, once you do that, you can kind of do this. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there you go. So uh, again, not not too bad. This is one of the good features to use. Uh, from my standpoint, I'm definitely going to give it. A It'll really help, right? Now there's brand 
brand hub i don't know what that is that doesn't go your brands all in grid oh so this is not uh i think this is not generative air this is a basic feature that canva has released as a part of their major uh so i'm not going to take a look at that but i'm going to quickly explore the generative air feature so this one says translate automatically detected this is let's see if it also translate text in bengali and then apply to this. yeah it was able to translate everything and it looks really great so it didn't really uh, delete that old slide it created a new version of the edition so imagine if you are someone who's making presentation in um, one language and you want to show the same presentation in some other language it's something you can uh, take i may personally be able to use it for one of the use cases that i just thought and finally this is a uh, text to image i think if you're following generative ai this may be a no brainer for you at the dog on a subject and i'm going to say drink. Like all the AI generation features, my assumption is this would also take some time. So let's see. Yeah, two dogs are already ready. There's a third one, and here's the final. Really cool. You can regenerate or start over. You can also do some other style and create again. But otherwise, I think this is a great feature. If you like, um, or if you're following generative AI, feel free to kind of join our Discord. But this is gonna be it for the video. If you have questions for any question, just drop them. See you guys.